Buck is on his way for dinner. He's right below the hill. He's coming up. You're coming up? Hi, big boy. You ready? I got him a cup of peaches. My husband brought home peaches. It's the best I could do just to give him an extra snack, you know, besides the apples. And I put some acorns already in his bucket. So he's gonna find a surprise of acorns in his bucket. He's been enjoying the acorns. Right, you've been enjoying the acorns for dinner? Look, Buck, look what I got. You haven't tried peaches in a long time. I don't know what he's smelling, what he found. What do you smell there? Nobody went there. Somebody go there? What are you smelling? Smell the peaches maybe? You smell the peaches? You might probably smell the peaches. Well, not there. What's over there, baby? I don't know what he's smelling over there. I have no clue. I have no clue what he's smelling there. What are you smelling there? You wanna try peaches? Hi, my big boy. Oh, you like it, <laughs> my big boy. Wait, let me, the zoom is too big, here you go. I threw them in a cup because they're so juicy and like, like they have a lot of juice around them, baby. <laughs> you like it? I know, I'm trying to make it go in your mouth. Oh, you got that one. Oh, you got that one too. Oh, and you just, your antlers dropped all of them. All right, I might as well. All right. Now you might as well eat them from the ground. You dropped them, baby. Well, <laughs> your antlers dropped my cup. All right, so he's gonna eat them from the ground. Don't tell me now you don't want them because they have dirt. No, you're eating them. Did these good? Did these good? Yeah, you're okay. That's no, no. With the leaf blower. Oh no, I mean with the lawnmower. What am I talking about, leaf blower? That's not no, the lawnmower. I should throw the peaches in his corn bucket. Oh, that's all right, Buck. You eat them on there. This is my big boy. This is my big boy. You so excited? Now he's gonna eat the peaches. No. I hope you eat them now. Imagine he don't want to eat, he don't want to eat them because they have dirt on them. My big boy. Can you smell my hand? It's okay. Let me throw in your bucket, baby. Let me throw in your bucket. Oh no, you want to eat it from here. You want to eat it from here? I don't know if you're smelling me. Do I smell like ginger? <laughs> I was hanging out with ginger. Is that why? I was hanging on my dog before I came outside. That could be why he's smelling me. He's felt like, wait a second. He smells a little different. Right, my big boy? It's okay. I was hanging out with your sister. That It's sad you're never going to meet her, baby. Because, like I said, I don't think Buck is good with cats and dogs. So I would never bring my dog like up to him. Because I would be too nervous. Especially Buck, he could hurt. You know, I'm not worried about Ginger hurting him. I'm worried about him hurting my dog. <laughs> with one kick or even with those antlers, forget it. I thought my husband's like, don't you ever think about bringing our dog next to her, next to him. I said, uh-uh, I wouldn't do it. Cause I already see the way Buck is with, um, with cats. And Buck is not that great with cats. Let me see if I throw some water on his peaches. If I wash them, take some of the water, the dirt off of them. Okay. I took some of the dirt off of the peaches. Maybe he'll eat them. I should have threw them in his corn bucket. All right. I just rinsed them off. And you're gonna find surprise acorns in there. I'm sure he's finding some. And tomorrow's supposed to rain, so I wanna see what his antlers look like tomorrow. That's why I haven't messed with him today. I was gonna do that cloth with the dove soap, the dove soap, but worse comes to worse, Maybe it's better if I do it tomorrow because, you know me, I always hang out with him even when it rains. 
So I was thinking maybe if his antlers are wet and then me rubbing them with the cloth, with the dove soap, it'll probably come out even better. So that's why I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to see what they look like. That's all I see. I keep seeing like a gnat mosquito flying by me. Eating your dinner, my big boy. Right now he's calm because he knows that's probably my father-in-law. He knows it's coming close, the sound, but he knows it's not too, too close. I mean, it's close, but it's not too, too close. But lawnmowers, I feel like Buck is like a little okay with. When it comes to leaf blowers, that's where it's like a no-no. Like he does not like leaf blowers at all, which I don't blame him. Oh yeah, I think now he's finding the acorns. Oh yeah, because he's crunching. You found the acorns. You're enjoying your dinner, my big boy. I'm so excited that now I know he likes acorns. I wish the trees over here inside over here by his side. I don't know if they drop acorns like the ones. I know the ones up close don't. Because I don't see acorns on the ground over here close by. But the, one, the tree by my side, forget it. It drops like thousands and thousands of acorns. Right? Do you have apples? Oh, you still have apples in there. You still have apples in there. My big boy, you still have apples. Oh, his head is so soft. You see how fluffy? It's all fluffy. Your head is so fluffy. Soft and fluffy. He still has apples in his bucket. So he was probably eating some of the acorns. <laughs> and he paused on the apples. Tomorrow I'm going grocery shopping. So I'm going to get him his mixed peanuts. Because I noticed this morning, I don't know. Like he ate the regular lightly salted peanuts like the regular cocktail peanuts but like i said buck is very particular he likes cashews almonds pecans like he likes those and i feel bad because i ran out but my husband brought home regular peanuts yesterday and they were lightly he even brought home the lightly salted ones he was like i brought home lightly salted because i know he likes to mix peanuts but you know what maybe these peanuts are a little bit fun for him <laughs> he'll he'll eat them he did eat them this morning but I could tell that, you know, he was dropping more on the ground than making them go in his mouth. <laughs> That's how I usually know if he's enjoying something and when he's not. Right, my big boy? Now you're gonna eat peaches? Mommy, wash the peaches. You don't wanna eat them? But you know, if you don't eat those peaches now, the raccoons definitely in a few hours are gonna get them. They'll have fun with those. I threw a whole bunch of acorns there earlier. So you should find more. You want me to get you acorns? I should go get him some acorns, maybe. Oh, he's eating them right now. He's eating the acorns that I threw earlier. Because I threw a whole bunch on the ground. He's, he found them. You found the acorns, my big boy? Right now, the way he's standing with his body, He's standing like that because of the noise. You're okay. It's okay, Buck. Let me get you acorns. All right, stay here. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna put these right here. I'm gonna go get Buck acorns. Okay. Oh, come on, stay. Ugh, why is it turning? Don't turn. It's gonna turn. Stay. You want acorns?
Alright guys, I went to get him a cup. Yeah. You okay? See? You okay? He loves acorns, guys. You know, looking at acorns without the top piece on it, it looks like hazelnuts. <laughs> they look like hazelnuts. So I'm sure they somewhat taste like peanuts to Buck. I would never try it because I don't think humans are supposed to eat acorns. But looking at them, they look like peanuts. Okay. He likes eating out of the cup. Yesterday I threw it on the ground for him and it looked like he got upset. He kept like looking inside the cup and I'm like, no baby, it's on the ground. So that's why today I'm gonna keep it in the cup. Cause he's usually used to eating peanuts and stuff like that from the cup. You like it, my big boy? And they're supposed to be good for you, Buck. They're supposed to be really, really good for you. Ah, that mosquito. There was a mosquito on my sleeve. Tastes so good. He crunches it. He loves it. You love it? There's nobody. See? You're okay. I don't know when to go get the mail. I don't know when to go get the meal. He loves acorns. Right? You love acorns. I wish mommy knew every year I would have been collecting them for you, Buck, but I didn't know. I really didn't know. Honestly, I tried it a few days ago. I gave him a few and I threw it on his side and he ate them. He was licking his mouth. He was licking himself and I was like, wait a second. I said, let me find out. My big boy. You like acorns? They taste so good for you, yeah? And they're good for you. Now he's just looking. And now he's gonna collect the ones that he dropped. He dropped a few, actually, Buck. Right next to the peaches, too. He loves the acorns. My husband's like, we have so many, won't he just jump on our side and just eat the ones that are on our side? I was like, well, you know, this poor guy, I was like, we're always telling him to go on his side when he jumps on our side. Because <laughs> we get nervous if, God forbid, one of our dogs run out and Buck is on our side, you know? That's what we get nervous. So that's why we try to keep him on his side. <laughs> we always tell him to go back to his side because he has walked around, like, on the blacktop on our side many times. At the beginning of this year, he did it. He did it last year, even the year before that. He's always, like, came on our side and walked around, literally on our property. But every time we would see him, we would tell him, like, hey, what are you doing here? Go on your side. Because we get nervous. Because my mother-in-law's dogs, they have a habit of running out sometimes in front of the house. So, you know, with a big thing like him on our side with dogs, little dogs around, like a little poodle, it's scary. Because he could hurt them, you know? Is that no-no? All right, guys, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna try to make con look, cause Buck. <laughs> See, you okay? No more. My father-in-law said hi to Buck and then he left. See, no more, you okay? All right, guys, like I was saying, I'm going to go. I'm going to probably go in front of my house and go grab more acorns for him and throw it on the ground and sprinkle them on the ground. So even after I go inside, he'll have something to do, you know? He'll keep himself busy eating the acorns. Well, that's what he's doing right now. You didn't eat the peaches, the rest of them. You're not crazy about them? Yeah, because I think once I give him fruits... The minute dirt goes on them, it's like he don't want them no more. He's so funny. And it's so funny because if it's any other animal, they would have ate it. Or any other deer, they, they wouldn't care about the dirt on this stuff. 
But Buck is so particular. It's so funny. You are so funny, Buck. But I love him. Right? You're particular, but it's okay. Mommy knows exactly how you like your things and what you like. I know how he likes his food. I know what he likes. So it's fine. It's okay. Right, Buck? It's okay. We know how you like your food. You don't like dirt on your food. You like apple slices. He likes his peanuts in a cup or any type of nuts in a cup. <laughs> Buck is very particular. Like even if you give him watermelon, you can't have too many hands, touch like too many things touching it. Because if you have too many hands touching it, it's like, he does, it's no good. But guys, I will be back tomorrow morning with another video. What kind of good dinner? He's still munching on the acorns. He's still eating the acorns that fell, which I'm so happy that, you know, I looked into it before I, because I, first I gave it to him, then I looked into it. I was Googling about deers and acorns and actually says that deers in the wild, they live on like acorns around this time. Like they'll eat a whole bunch of them and they love them. So I was like, oh, let me try with him. And he loves them. He seems to love them. Like he literally, literally like loves them, which I'm excited because there's so many on outside that we could, you know, this whole month and next month, he'll have a good amount of acorns in his body, right? All right, everyone, have a great weekend. I actually gonna hang out with him probably another 20 minutes after this video. And then I gotta go feed my dog dinner and put her outside and all that. All right, big boy? Then I gotta go deal with your sister. That's why, Buck, I can't stay with you all day. It's not like the summer days no more. In the summer, I used to stay, like, you know, I used to get darker later. So I used to hang out with him for, like, two hours, two and a half hours outside. Now I try not to hang out with him too long because, you know, pretty soon, I feel like we're changing to the winter time where it's going to start getting darker out early. And I don't stay here when it's dark out. I do not. I stood with him, like, once or twice, like, until it got really dark out. And he was here, like, while it was dark out. I have hung out with him, you know, in the dark till it got dark out, like till 8 o'clock, 8.30 p.m. But I just don't want to get him used to it because, you know, I'm not going to be doing that all the time, especially when the baby comes, you know? So, guys, I'll be back tomorrow morning with another video. Buck is doing great. He's thriving. The paint is literally almost though off. Tomorrow's supposed to rain, so I know a lot of it is going to wash off, especially if it rains and he rubs. But then tomorrow, what are you doing your tail? What are you doing your tail? It looks like he's a little bit on high alert, like he's going to stick his tail up. You're okay, big boy. You're okay. So I will be back tomorrow morning with another video. I don't see Thumper. But if Thumper pops up, I'll get Thumper, you know, on the clip. <laughs> I hope everybody has a great evening and a good night. And me and big boy Buck, we both will be back tomorrow morning with another video. Ciao for now.